Aloha Hawaii. Aloha is a word that has several meanings. Hello and goodbye are just a few. So beautiful. <laughs> what a coincidence. Aloha in the meanings here on the sidewalk. Greetings, regards, kindness, compassion, affection, love. I'm already loving this. You too? I just got you. I'm already loving this. Hawaii is a state of the United States of America, but you're wrong if you think it's just off the coast of California. It's actually pretty far. It's like a five to six hour flight from the West Coast, and that's the closest. Actually, when you look at the map, it's almost halfway between North America, Japan, and Micronesia. And geographically, Hawaii is not located in North America, but in Polynesia. We've just landed in Honolulu, the capital, and now we're in Waikiki, more precisely, just going for a stroll to see what's around. Everything here is so charming. And this street here, full of shops. The beach is right over there. If you're new here, my name is Renata, I'm a journalist. I started traveling the world as a journalist about 15 years ago, and today I continue. I created this channel here because I love sharing everything I learned on these trips. I'm so impressed with how charming everything is. Waikiki is so charming, and it's also the most touristy place in Hawaii. Accommodation here can be really expensive, but a few blocks away from the beach, you may still find some relatively good deals. Our first hotel was $140 a night. After traveling to other islands, we returned for one more night before flying back home and we found another hotel for $100. All that is coming up in the next video, so make sure you subscribe if you want to learn more about Hawaii. Look at this! Just try to repeat the pronunciation I heard on the radio here. I love it! In this series, I'm going to introduce you to this paradise considered one of the most beautiful places in the world. And we start exactly in the island of Oahu, where Honolulu is located. Now, here we are in Waikiki, probably the most famous beach in Hawaii. That's because it's easy to arrive in Honolulu. Most of the hotels are located in this region right here, so it's a simple walk. And because of that, it can get very crowded too. And also, of course, the beach is so beautiful. Look at the color of the water. Look at this natural pool right here. Now, when you think of Hawaii, what immediately comes to your mind? At least for me, surfing. Enormous waves. There's <laughs> basically nothing here. That's because not every beach in Hawaii has huge waves. Only certain beaches, and not throughout the whole year either. But Waikiki is the perfect place if you're learning how to surf. Just look at this. The waves are not big and they extend through a huge part of the beach. It really helps. Look at the prices here. For renting, chair, umbrella, you can choose per hour or the full day. And also lessons. Surfing, stand-up paddle. Look at this tree, baby. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. One very famous landmark in Waikiki is this one right here, the Duke statue. Duke was an Olympic athlete. He won several gold medals for swimming in the Olympics, and he is also considered the father of international surfing. He got famous for saving lives, people that were drowning in the ocean, and he did that just using his board. That in the beginning of the 20th century, when not many people were surfing. After that, he was elected sheriff in Honolulu and became a legend. Now, rumor has it that this is also a place you should bring your lei. You know, lei, those Hawaiian beautiful flower colors, and you should throw right there on his arms. That means you will eventually return to Hawaii in life. Look at how cool. Surfing has no age. This lady was probably 50 years old. Lost and baby, I 
Are we in Japan or Hawaii? Right. Hawaii. <laughs> yes, there are a lot of Japanese here. Actually, you see, even uh, things written in Japanese, they have two official languages here, English and Hawaiian, and Japanese is like an unofficial third language. You hear it everywhere. I spent so much time in Japan, my ears are kind of trained now, you know, I can't recognize the language. Okay, Hanato. What? I'm at my hotel, so I'll see you later. Ah! Uh, <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> This was the first hotel in Waikiki, Moana Surfrider. So beautiful. The rate here was $1.50 a night. Oh baby, did you see that the rooms costed $1.50 per night? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was probably a lot of money back then. Yeah, and a Coke was two cents. <laughs> you can rent bikes here, look at that. One way, $4 for a 30 minute ride, or 300 prepaid minutes, $25, multiple trips. You can do it right here. Just put in the credit card. Maybe no need for the app. Here in Waikiki, you see a lot of fountains, you know, some smaller, some a little bigger. And that's because the meaning of this word, Waikiki, is a spouting water. This used to be a marshland with a lot of streams, so they try to pay a homage to this past. Wow, look at this. Yeah, it explains that the rides can last for hundreds of yards. Duke, you know, from the statue, cut the longest ride, 35 foot wave, and rode it to shore a mile and a quarter on a wave. Can you imagine that? How crazy! I know I've been saying this a lot, but you still may not have the idea of how beautiful this place is. Here there are rocks on the bottom. Just admiring? Yeah. It's beautiful, so beautiful. It's so blue. So beautiful. So green, right? Blue. It's green, baby. It's aqua. Better. The color of this water is impressive. Oh, and if you sit here towards the end, you get some shade from the trees. No need to rent an umbrella. How is it? Cool. Cool? <laughs> oh. This water is so perfect. So full of fish everywhere. There's some tiny ones and some bigger ones too. We walked basically the entire beach here, both sides. So now I'm gonna take a break and enjoy it too, right? So see you in a few hours. Look at this, just a block from the beach and you'll find much better prices to rent an umbrella and a chair. Or even a combo here, two chairs and an umbrella for $10 for the whole day. how fast the weather changed. There's a little bit of blue sky over there, but this is it. <laughs> Looks like it's gonna rain, so let's see what we can still do today. We're now gonna take the chance to see a little bit of the historical side of Honolulu, starting with the Aloha Tower. Well, the Aloha Tower is a lighthouse that is considered a landmark here in the state of Hawaii. It was opened in 1926, and for four decades, this was the tallest structure in the entire Hawaii. You can come up here for a view of the city, totally free. This is the financial district of Honolulu. Waikiki is over there. Here's the ocean. Free 
to come here. Not much going on here these days. A lot of people think Hawaii is just beach and surf. But look at this, Honolulu. A lot of historical modern buildings, just like any state capital. In fact, 1.4 million people live on this island here, Oahu. Look at Gordon next to this tree. Look at this building right here. This is Iolani Palace. It's the only official royal residence in the entire United States. Here's where the last kings of Hawaii lived. This is when Hawaii was a monarchy and before belonging to the United States. We thought we could visit, but it closed at four. You really forget about time in Hawaii. Wow, look at this. Iolani Palace is right there. And right here, the state capital of Hawaii. 1959 says right there, that's the year Hawaii became the 50th state of the United States of America. This was the last queen of Hawaii, Lili Uokalani. She was overthrown in 1893 and her statue right here, you know, facing the capital, probably has a deeper meaning. Downtown Honolulu, it's been a real good surprise. Look at how many beautiful buildings here, historical buildings and statues. This one right here, for example, this was King Kamehameha, very important king here in Hawaii because he unified all the islands in Hawaii. Before him, different islands used to have different kings and they were different monarchies. Perfect timing, huh? We may even have a sunset today. Oh yeah. Look at this. Look at that. It's still raining, but there's no sun now. <laughs> After a 30 minute walk, look at this. It's amazing how the weather changed so fast, huh? Yeah. Cheers to a beautiful day. Aloha. It's video. <laughs> video. <laughs> Gorda probably just ran out of battery. <laughs> right? Not probably. Not probably, most likely. Yeah. <laughs>